right back in the garage with the TTO2B Plasma Edge 2. This thing is quick. Like getting around the dirt bends right before I hit, well, like right when I hit the grass, this thing just takes off. Uh, it's a really quick car. That uh, Reedy Rage 2 motor uh, definitely provides a lot of pep. Gets warm though, so I only run it in short bursts. Um, overall, the car did well. I don't know how well you can tell in the video, but. Um, car just sounds off to me and it has sounded that way since day one and uh, I think this offseason we're finally going to take it apart see what is going on uh, this car's actually got bushings in it I had ordered a bearing kit for it when I put them in and put the tires on um, you can see real well with the bushings how much play you get there there's a bit of play but with the bearings when I put those in there was a ton more slop in there so I put for now the bushings back in but um, <clears throat> the off season when I tear this down, um, I'm going to be addressing that and getting uh, proper bearings put in there. And uh, also, I might pull that motor out in favor of a torque tune, maybe keep things running a little bit cooler in the motor in here. I might actually put in the DT03 Racing Fighter. Um, and actually, I have already got uh, a couple of upgrades on the way for this that I'll put in there in the off season when I go through this car and that's one thing I want to do in the off season is make more of a concerted effort uh, hopefully to upgrade a few cars and to uh, really go through them and make sure they're properly ready for next season but an impressive run by the Plasma Edge too I mean for a, a budget four-wheel drive RC car this thing gets around the track pretty darn nice uh, it claws its way doesn't slide a whole much but uh, how did the times come out let's take a look Check that out. We see it takes first place in the kit division with an 8.55 fastest lap and an 8.96 average. Yeah, this thing just tore it up, so it takes over first place over the DT03. And uh, overall, sits in third place behind the Bandit uh, and the Rustler. Pretty impressive car. Uh, I enjoy this one quite a bit. So. Yeah, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, we'll be going back probably to the Ready to Run division for Sunday's upload. I just got to figure out what I've got left that I'm actually going to run. There's going to be a handful of cars uh, from probably each division that I'm not going to run this year. I uh, have an awful lot of other things I want to get to uh, in the RC world. But yeah, that's going to wrap this one up, guys. As always, thanks for taking some time out of your day to check out my videos. Till the next one, everyone stay safe, and we'll see you around.